Hey guys, so I want to show you how to take your tracking online. Uh, I did start out with a pen and paper and a notebook. When I would talk to somebody, write their name down, or if I had their name that I wanted to invite, I wrote all their names down and I would write the date that I invited them, a little bit of notes about what we talked about. Um, so, you know, but when I got into, you know, two or three months of, you know, reaching out and connecting with people and my kids loved taking my notebooks and they would scribble on them. And I would find myself like trying to move people over to like the next page for the next month. And it just got really overwhelming. I am a computer person. I believe that there is a power in writing down people's names. So I have people's names, you know, on my computer, but then I write them down as the people that I want to, uh, invite or connect to next but to keep it all on pen and paper just for me wasn't working and so I took my stuff online and here's what I first did I'm now using a program kind of called Asana and there are many different videos I will do my best to make a video um, here shortly about how I use that now because um, it has also continued to help me improve my efficiency and follow-ups but if you want to just right now, today, start doing online, I go. I use the Google uh, spreadsheets. So you go to drive.google.com. I'm logged in. It's going to ask you for like your Gmail account. So you, you connect one of your Gmail accounts. If you don't have one, easy to create. And then I go over here to new. You go to your Google Sheets. And, um, and so what you do is uh, I would start off with I would have their name. I would have the date that I uh, first reached out to them, what it was, was it an invite, a reach out, you know, what, where we were, um, and then any notes. Um, and then I would write in a, a new follow-up. I always kept the date that I first contacted them and then the follow-up date, just for me worked. So say I was talking to Beth and it, you know, it was a reach out, we'll say, just mom, a teacher, you know, three kids, you know, nutrition is our, is our tough part, um, you know, that sort of thing. Um, uh, then I, I would look at this and know that I haven't invited her yet. Um, for me, I actually would highlight the fill a green. That kind of let me know that she is somebody that, after having reached out, connected with her, and built this conversation and this uh, relationship of trust, she would be on my list to invite next. Let's say Mary, I did a invite. Um, you know, uh, maybe she reached back. Maybe, you know, if she did, if, if she, you know, and I put the follow-up to be no more than, um, you know, 20, 24, 48 hours. So uh, I would do the follow-up would be 9-30-2015. And I would also write a little bit about why I reached out to her, um, saw Facebook post, you know, um, struggling with workouts. Yeah, you, know, uh, you know, just what you would normally do on a piece of paper. Um, and then uh, I'm just gonna add three so that you can see better. Um, you know, say, you know, Jill, 928, I sent her an invite and, um, you know, maybe she, maybe Jill writes back, and so I sent her the 21 Day Fix video. So I have that as like the last thing I did for her. So now I want to follow up with her tomorrow about whether or not she got to see that video. So that's what I would do. That's how I would do that. Now, here's what I would do next. I would highlight this column. Let me see if I can. I double check. So it's been a little bit since I have. Oh, yeah, freeze this um, uh, this row. It's a row. It's not a column. It's, uh, hor or, yeah, horizontal is columns. Vertical is rows. So I'd freeze that. So that way, then when I come to this and I go, okay, so who am I supposed to reach out to? Um, who's who's the first person I'm supposed to talk to next? Who's next on my list? You highlight the follow-up row. You go to data and short, sort the sheet. So it show me that, oh, I need to talk to Jill first. She's tomorrow, you know, she's today, you know, Mary's tomorrow, that sort of thing. So I would have a whole bunch of names here 
I would know who I was supposed to reach out to next. In my invites, I would see where I am uh, in my process. And then with this date, this follow-up date, and that date I would be, I would change. I would always keep the date that we first connected the same, but the follow-up date would be, I would always move forward with that. So then I would just always know every morning I go to the sheet, I sort it by the follow-up date, and I, immediately from the top I'd see who the, who the first people are to contact that day. Um, I then also started putting their names um, and, and the follow-up date in my phone as a little reminder uh, to help me uh, if I wasn't able to make it on a computer, if I didn't have a computer, um, I won't be stuck going, I don't know who to talk to. I would have that ping me on my phone. Um, and so this has just been a really easy way uh, for me to transition to online. Keep it simple, guys. It doesn't have to be amazingly crazy and hard. Um, and so hopefully this helps you to kind of see um, a quick and easy way to keep up with who you're talking to, where they are, and what to do. And again, play around with you know, what column details you want for your uh, your own spreadsheet, but this has just been the easiest way for me to do that. Don't forget to go here and um, uh, it's uh, um, underneath view to freeze that that row. <laughs> so that way then when you do sort it, this doesn't go random. Um, if you keep it, keep a title, even if, if you, you don't have to keep a header. But anyway, so I hope that helps and uh, and helps to help you be more efficient and um, organized.